everyone, it's Emma. I am currently in New York City. Came up here for a little visit and I decided to dedicate this visit and this vlog to all of my favorite bookstores in the city. Because it's Christmas time, I'm doing a lot of shopping for my friends and family. That means going to a lot of bookstores. I've never really given you guys a lowdown of my favorite bookstores in the city. So as I go to each bookstore, I'm gonna kinda give you the reasons why I love each one and show you a little bit of what it's like to shop there. The first one that I'm headed to today is the McNally Jackson bookstore. This one is probably the newest of all of my favorites. And this one's my favorite for the way that it's organized and the kind of things that they carry. It's trendy in the best of ways. When I was looking for the graphic novel Everyone's an Alien Bin, if you're an Alien Bin too, they had it in the store right there in the graphic novel section. Also, its literature section is separated by where it was written. So if it's by a French author, it'll be in the French literature section. And that makes it really interesting to shop there. You just tend to find things that you wouldn't normally find when it's all mixed in together. They also have a really decent poetry section. Their YA section is pretty decent, it's not my favorite. The middle grade section is super small, but I like it mostly for other things like the literature, the graphic novels, and finding things that are interesting. They always have this section in the middle when you walk in, kind of like a space to browse. There's always some really interesting things to find in there. Okay, it is day two of the bookstore New York trip. The first place that I'm headed today is called Book Culture. There's a couple different locations in the city, I think, but I like the one that is Book Culture on Columbus. This one is my favorite overall. It has also been my favorite bookstore for longer. I lived in the city a couple years ago. It was the one that I went to every week, the one that I bought too many books at every week. What I love about book culture is something about the way it's organized makes it so that I can always find something really interesting, something that I will really like even when I'm not looking for anything, which of course is dangerous, but it also is what I love about it. Because I don't need to go in there thinking I'm going to buy this specific book. Just by browsing, I always end up finding something I'm going to love. They have those blind date with a book. It tells you on the front a couple books that it's like, and then you open it up and you see what the book is. I've always really loved theirs compared to the other places that I've got. The literature section is where I usually look through, although sometimes I go to their poetry section and YA. I also just love the mood of the store. They have a lot of cute like merchandise, homey stuff. They have really cute cards. It is the most similar to the bookstore that I work in, in that there's books, it's mostly books, but then there's also some more gift items. So it's a good place to Christmas shop for sure. After book culture, I'm gonna head to Kinokuniya. This one is a bookstore, but obviously I love it more for its manga. It's a Japanese bookstore and upstairs they have a huge manga selection. I've never gone there and not found what I was looking for. If you are a manga lover, you will know how rare that is because most bookstores just have a couple volumes of whatever you're looking for, even Barnes & Noble. But I also love Kinokuniya just as a bookstore and I love the variety that they carry. The YA section is pretty decent. It's not my favorite. I don't really go there to shop YA, but overall the bookstore is just really good for finding interesting things. I like their poetry section a lot. It's a really good place to find foreign authors since it is a Japanese bookstore. And then the other thing I love about it is the merch that they carry. They have a lot of like blind boxes for anime. They have pushing stuff. Overall, Kinokuniya has three stores. The downstairs is where if you want to get a weekly jump magazine, there are pens, journals, stationery, that kind of stuff is all downstairs. The middle floor, like the one that you are on when you walk through the doors, is the bookstore. That's where you pay. You can look through the literature section, poetry, YA, children's. And then the upstairs is where the manga is. The upstairs is where it's happening. That's where I usually go first. They have a huge selection of manga in Japanese, which I would love to be able to read someday, but obviously that's not for me right now. And then the English translated manga is more towards the back. It's all alphabetical by series, so it's super easy to find what you're looking for, and they just have so, so many manga. It's basically manga heaven. The last bookstore that I'm headed to today is called Books of Wonder. I've talked about this one a lot because whenever I have huge book hauls, it's usually because I went to Books of Wonder. Books of Wonder is a children's bookstore. They specialize in YA, middle grade, and children's books. This is the most wonderful YA section I have ever found. 
maybe except the one bookstore in Minneapolis, Minnesota called Wild Rumpus. If you're looking for YA books, if you're looking for signed copies, if you're looking for beautiful special editions, Books of Wonder is where it's at. I have found so many books there that have become my favorite. They always have what I'm looking for if I'm looking for a YA book, and they always have a ton of signed copies of my favorite authors. The other reason I like Books of Wonder is because similarly to book culture where you can go in and find anything in the adult literature section that you weren't necessarily looking for. Books of Wonder always provides me with options of YA books that I've never heard of. They have a really big hardcover section and a really big paperback selection. So I always manage to find something that I have never heard of or I wasn't looking for or I didn't plan to buy, but that I end up really, really enjoying. A very small, not important thing that I love about Books of Wonder is that they give out tote bags when you spend a certain amount of money. And I really like their tote bags, they're really colorful. So those are four of my favorite bookstores that I've found in New York City. Keep your eyes out for the haul from this trip because I'm going to haul the books that I bought in a different video. I hope you have a lovely day or night or afternoon wherever you are and I will see you in my next video.